it's a really 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 good one y'all all right y'all welcome um i must say it's a chilly morning right now it's supposed to get up to like 58 degrees but right now i would say it's about 30 close to like 35 degrees um so it's a little nippy outside right now but it's kind of warmer than 35 it's almost feel like it's about 42 degrees um, i tried to come out here and fish before um on on a friday and it was pretty difficult so i kind of got out of there real quick only caught one fish so i didn't really get no footage so i see that the water dropped down a little bit it actually dropped down a, a little bit more uh i would say not not as significant but enough to where you where it's very noticeable the water don't look like it's rushing as hard but that water still is going the upside is that there is not a lot of debris like there was before i had to take my lines out the water um back and forth um taking a bunch of weeds and debris off my lines and that made it real difficult to fish i think i got a fish on yep and i do here we go yes i do he bit that bait yep he sure did Yes, he did. He bit that bait. He sure did. Whoa, nice. Whoa. <laughs> wow. I, I caught him. I caught him at least like, dude, not even like 10 yards up. It's crazy. Wow. Oh, right in the corner of the mouth. The Octo Stinger hooks. Look at that. Mm. That's what I'm talking about. Look at that. Look at that. The Oct look at that. The Octo Stinger. 7 out Octo Stinger hook. These hooks are really growing on me so much. Oh my goodness. They've been putting the look at that. Beating on the channels. Look at that. Look at that. That water is moving extremely fast. And what I did was did about five, maybe five or eight yards out. We're gonna get a nice release on this one. I cast about five to eight yards out. And I felt the pulling, and then all of a sudden it stopped, which means there's a, you can probably see the current seam right there. It's like real swirling and swishy. Right up in that area is where I got that fish at. We're gonna leave that bait out there a little longer, and what we're gonna do is just rig this back up again uh, with some more bait. If not, uh, I believe I can probably keep this bait on here still. Yeah, I believe I can still use this bait. So what I'm gonna do is hook it a different way so that uh, the bait, won't come off because he kind of he kind of beat the bait up a little bit you know so yeah i'll just reuse this bait again all right all right let's see come on i'm not gonna keep up playing with you fish come on come on oh he spit it out you can't spit the bait out on me come on now you shouldn't do that that was unfair oh, come on look 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 Oh uh, yeah, I could tell he was trying to get it, cause I could see the bite, like I could see the the, the, the parts where he pressed that to get the bait off. Oh come on now, fish. All right, I guess I gotta throw that back out there and try my luck again. Yep, and I think it's at the bottom. So, all right, there you have it, man. We're just gonna sit here and wait, see what else we can do. All right, here we go. We got us another one. It took, it actually took a while, even though I was getting a whole bunch of bites. But like I said, you know, with this current, the fish is coming in and out of that current. So when they bite, they bite quick. And once they, if they get it, they got it. You know, if they don't, then they probably just move on. Yeah, here we go. Yeah, come on. Yeah, that was a nice piece of bait I used. It wasn't too huge, but he got it. He got a hold to it. Here we go. That's what I'm talking about nice channel cat right here off the octo stingers yep that's what we calling this today look at that fishing with the octo octo stinger hooks seven knot to be exact i'm in love with those hooks so now you can see now you can just let them slow down like come on fish he got you see Exactly what I'm talking about. Like, I can hold it better. See what I'm saying? That's what I'm talking about. About a three pound fish or a two and a quarter. But you see what I'm saying, right? 
Yep, so what I do is keep these around my hand and just let it go. Yep. There you have it. Let's see what else we can get into. Okay, I believe I got something really nice on a cut bait. Really nice. For a minute, I couldn't even move. I couldn't move him. I couldn't even move this fish. Look, he's not even trying to come near me. He's not even trying to come my way. Uh, he's starting to swim towards me now. That's cool. But usually when, when he's swimming out, that okay. Now he's making okay. It's getting a little easier, but that's because he's swimming towards me. Man, for a minute I thought I'm gonna be able to get him because he was just. Oh, there we go. I gotta loosen him. Just drag just a little bit. Okay, I want to get up under here because. Oh, to keep that line tight. Keep that line tight. Where you? Yeah, he nice because he not even coming from the bottom. Jesus. Yep, he not even. Whoa, come on. Whoa, this is a huge channel. Whoa, this is a huge channel, cat. Okay. I ain't gonna get too excited. Oh yeah, this is yeah. This, he not even coming from the bottom, y'all. Yep. Oh, he might. He no. Okay, he. He might not be my biggest, but he's nice. Oh my goodness, he is a big one. Come on. <laughs> Whoa, come on. I got to get him from the weeds because, oh yes, this channel cat is humongous. He is humongous. I got to be real calm. Come on. Come on, fish. Come on. Come on. Oh, he's right there. Where you at? Oh yes oh yeah he's my biggest channel cat dude what oh my god exactly why i come over here and fish exactly why oh my lord this is about and look at how i had him right at the corner of the mouth oh thank god for the octo yo here we go Whoa! Oh my God! <laughs> Let's look. We're gonna get mesh. Whoa! Okay. We're gonna we're gonna scale him up real quick. Okay. Okay. Here we go. Thirteen pounds. Thirteen pounds. Wow! He almost made it. It was two pounds off from my largest. There you go. Woo! That's a big channel cat. I promise you. 30 pound channel cat. That's what I'm talking about. All right, y'all, stay tuned. All right, y'all, here we go. 13 pounder. Look at that body. Look at it. Oh my God, look at it. Nice. <laughs> it has to go though. Oh man, let's make sure we get a safer release on her. And now I'm ready. And now I'll let her go whenever she's ready to go. There she go. All right. Oh man, that was that was nice right there. It didn't want to come off the ground. I didn't want to come from the bottom, y'all. That's how I knew that fish was nice. Usually when I catch channel catfish, they always run to that bottom part. They stay on the ground. And it it didn't want to come up at all. I didn't want to show his face at all. And that's how I knew. It was decent. Okay, I got another one on. Got another fish on. Whoa, what the heck? Yo. What the, in the God's living name? Oh my, what's wrong with this fish? Why did this sick fish eat my stuff? Oh my God, y'all, look at this. This ain't even, this is crazy. Yo. Dead fish. Yo, I gotta take a picture of this. Whoa, this is, this dead fish practically. Oh my God. Yo, what in God's?
Okay, look, y'all. I don't know. This is the weirdest thing ever. Okay, somebody please explain to me why this carp is dead. No, for real. No, I'm not playing. What? Look, I caught a dead carp. A carp practically dead ate my bait. Somebody please explain to me how. Dude, how? Look at this. How do a dead carp? He's not moving. He's he's not doing nothing. I got him at the corner of the mouth like any other. Okay, this is. I can't be. I, I can't be tripping. There's no way. This I can't be tripping about this. Like there's a dead carp decided to eat my bait. How? How, dude? Why did you do that to yourself? That's not cool, dog. Look. He's on, look, the hook is at the corner of his mouth. I don't even want to touch this dead thing. Okay, look, that's what we gonna do, man. I'm, okay, these little chain of events. All right, okay, here we go. I gotta be careful because I don't want to slip in the mud. But like I said, this is a dead carp. See, he don't even, look, his soul is like sucked dry. What happened to this fish? He had enough energy left. He, <laughs> He had enough energy left to eat a piece of shad, bro. Oh, shit. He, oh, yeah, he seemed like he's way, I don't know. He's fighting a little bit more harder than that last one did. Other than the fact that the, uh, I don't know. I don't know. He's, it, uh, this is a nice channel cat. Where's my, where's my, uh, uh oh. I need to get him over here because there's a lot of weeds and stuff that I don't want him to go near. I, I kind of seem like a big wake. I don't know. He might not be as big, but he's fighting, though. Come on. He ain't nowhere near big as that other one. Whoa. Here we go. Another good catch, y'all. Another good catfish. <laughs> this one about to be like eight pounds, maybe. There we go. Okay, what was that? What was that that felt? Okay, that was my phone. It's another good one, y'all. There we go. This one is like, this is a male. You could tell this one is a male. The other one was a female. I could tell her head was like more rounded off and not as squared as the males. There we go. Let's get him in here. Oh, yeah, he got to be about... Nope, he's about seven. He's about six pounds. Why he? Woo, he he could fight. Man, oh man, yo, so much action going on. This is crazy. This net is a pound, so I can weigh him up here because I don't really feel like holding him by the mouth, kind of doing too much. So here we go. Okay, so like I said, that fish. It's most definitely, my point exactly. Yep. Fish is five, six, seven, seven pounds. Yep. Seven pound channel cat. That's not, that's not the uh, way of the net. The weight, the, the total weight was eight pounds, but I'm taking a pound away from the net. So we have a seven pound channel cat. So we just caught a 13 pound channel cat. And we have a seven pounder. Look at that. Look at this boy. Come on now. You can't come on now. Look, the action is unreal today. At first it was slow, but now the now when I'm getting them strong, aggressive bites, and they coming from bigger cats. And they all beat up down there. That water is not letting them, it's not really letting up. But that's alright. We're gonna get out there and, and do what we gotta do. Stay tuned. Oh man, he flipped on me. Hey, looking for more content? Well, please subscribe. Also, like us on Facebook. And always remember there's nothing wrong with a lot of fishing. Thank you for watching.